Hello and welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're in Foundry VTT and we're looking at an add-on today by by popular request. Uh, we're looking at Moulinet, um, which is a module that does it do anything apart from organise? Not really, but does it organise us really well? Yes, it does. Now, what's quite important, this one's a slightly unusual as far as add-ons come. If I bring over the um, the actual GitHub description for it, you need several different add-on modules to make this work. Uh, and it's not because of dependencies. But you have a core uh, section which basically uh, does everything you need it to do in the background. But on its own, there's n <laughs> it doesn't do anything. So you need to add on, and it says here, the core only provides the foundations. You need to install additional modules to bring the features. So it's really just a way of organising your scenes, icons, tiles, sounds, whatever it is you want to do. And each of these effectively has a different add-on. So we've got uh, the Moulinet scenes, icons, uh, image search, tiles, sounds, the soundboard, um, etc. So you can use the bits you want and don't use the bits you don't want, obviously. Um, right, but how does it look? Okay. So I've got it installed here and as you can see I've got not only the core but I've got the game icons and tiles because let's face it tiles is my and mine are a mess aren't they. <laughs> and we get some different options over on the left hand side. So we can see this little hammer here and you can see we've got prefabs here and it appears also in here under our tiles. Um, I haven't got any ones for drawings. Uh, I haven't got the ones for sounds in, but at the bottom here I've got the whole menu for Moulinet. Um, and this is where, um, obviously there's a link to Patreon. Okay, so if I, that's not actually going to do much. There we go, it's just going to bring up here and say about you can link it to your Discord, link it to your Patreon pledges. So, for example, I'm a supporter of Ripper, uh, Mr Primate, Foundry VTT, etc. Available creators, so you can see who you might want to join etc etc so I can look at those um, reload my data from the cloud okay I'll tell you what that means in a moment we've got our icons prefabs tile tokens etc we've got a nice useful built-in help um, which was really helpful which is <laughs> which is good uh, we've got this uh, faceted search for the cloud as well we've got our favorites and things right but let's start off let's look at icons let's bring this up uh, I haven't actually got any icons installed. So this is what the interface looks like. But if you look across the top, I've got icons, prefabs and tile tokens because these are the modules that I've selected. So I don't have sounds and things because I haven't installed that. But essentially this gives me a search bar where I can search any icons that I have access to. Now when I say access to, that either means I've put them in a specific place on my computer to access them or I've got access them through cloud functions. Now I've not looked at any icons in particular so if I search no pack contain oh sorry this pack contains no assets because I'm not in a pack. But if we go to tiles and tokens this is a bit more um, this is a bit more functional and we'll be able to show you because this is ones that I've got installed. So we have a search bar where I can search for almost anything and I'll do that in a minute. I also have a drop down for creators. So I can choose to look at my assets at the bottom there. I've got six of those. Uh, the Foundry VTT assets. Anything from Forgotten Adventures and anything from BaileyWiki because I'm linked to those. So I can actually search by those. So let's pick on BaileyWiki. And it's going to give me this whole host of different things from BaileyWiki. So this is his castle hallways walls and portals um, his towers decor and can you see the way it's nicely putting these into folders where I can go and say right I'm looking for I'm looking for icons map icons and I can come in here and this is all the Bailey wiki map icons available so I can use these uh, and if I've got them I can literally just drag that onto my scene so you saw for a second it had a little load because it was downloading it from uh, directly from BaileyWiki and bringing it into my into my scene, and I've now got that. Uh, now, 
there we go so I can now move that resize it do whatever I need with it which is great really easy I can search all of Bailey wiki stuff now there is also a drop down for packs so Bailey wiki maps is here so this is all of the Bailey wiki map stuff so I've got vehicles at the bottom got some ships and things like that but if there was multiple packs you know one for icons one for um, interiors one for exteriors whatever it might be you can search by packs here so if we go to forgotten adventures uh, again they've only got their furniture pack but I've got access to all of these so I can just oh, slap out a table there it is done and then put some chairs around it there we go there's a chair uh, obviously I can now I've got it I can copy and duplicate that there's another chair I can put out so for scene building and things, it's really, really quick and easy. And of course, um, let's uh, let's just go to all creators and let's say I want to do a search. Let's search for something cloth. Okay, so it's bringing up uh, thrown weapons. What's that? So because it's got, so this is bomb fused cloth pink. Because it's got the word cloth in it, it's finding it, which is great. Uh, equipment, leg. I've got a whole bunch of cloth armors here. Um, containers, bags, because they're cloth bags. They're all showing up here. So very quickly, I can search all the assets that I have, plus any assets that are online that I have access to. They are all here, which, yeah, if you're scene building and stuff, might make your life really, really easy because you don't have to, like I currently do, um, go through my actors to find things. Oh, I've got to go through all of my items to find things. I've got to go through all of my uh, my tile browser, which folder did I put it in? Because you know, sometimes I get lost in my folders. Well, I can dump them all in here instead. So if I go to my assets, um, I've just got, so I've got some pack drop downs. I've got a characters pack. And this is just where I've dropped in some of my characters here um, with their images and things that we've used for various bits that I threw over. Okay, so that's really good. Now, when you first come into Moulinet, you will be confused about how you've... I can't find your own assets. Where are they? So let me pull across my other window over here because I've now updated the folder that has these characters in it. So this is the folder we're looking at. And you can see I've got Haley in there, the Ghost of Rose, etc., our Spectre housemaid. But I've dumped a whole bunch more in. But they don't show up here. They're not in here at the moment. So this is what you need to do to set this up, whether it's your tiles, etc. So find your Foundry data folder. And this will be the folder where your modules are. Okay, so all of our modules, there's my CG treasure items, one that we've been looking at recently, Chris's pre-made, etc. Now you might come in here and you're going, oh, I'm looking for Moulinette. Where is Moulinette? So we've got the games icons, we've got the tiles, we've got the core, but those are the modules, they're not the resources. Okay, so this will, be, will throw you. Come up one level. So you're in the Foundry folder data, and you'll see that there is a separate folder just called Moulinet. We'll open that up. And in here is where we can put our stuff. So if I go into images and go into custom, this is where I can create as many folders as I want in any structure that I want that we can then dig down into. So if I go into characters, here's that folder with my ones and we know Haley worked we just saw that we know Rose was in there um, I've also created another one for monsters and just chucked in some of our previous monsters just so that we can have a look at that as well so back over to here how do I get those to appear in here well essentially what I need to do is to ask Moulinette through Foundry to go and look at that folder again and update its assets uh, according to what's now in that folder. Uh, now, if I can remember which way to do it, we've got a cog icon at the bottom here. If I click on this, you can see that we've got some options that pop up, and one of them is configure sources and index assets. So they will not show up until you have indexed your assets. Okay, so clicking on this, and this brings up a table. 
that shows you where it is going to look for your various images, characters, tiles, icons, whatever they may be. So there's a few default ones in here. You can see there's Foundry default in icons. We've got the games icons download ones here as well. And then I added on images, my assets, characters folder. OK, so I can at any point add a new folder. So at the bottom here, you can see where it says add source. I can pick a folder. Uh, now, what I want to do is straight away under my user data, I've got Moulinet. I click on that. Uh, and bearing in mind I'm not selecting a file, I'm selecting a directory. If I go to Images, Custom, I click on Monsters, and that should add source. You can now see Images, Assets, Characters, and my Images for My Assets, Monsters. So I've now got this extra folder added on here as a different pack. So it's going to have a pack called characters and a pack called monsters that are part of my assets. Does that make sense? And that relates to these drop downs just above where it says my assets at the moment six uh, and this character six because I've got a pack called characters that's got six people in it. Well I'm now going to have two packs, one called characters, one called monsters that are both part of my assets. So I can click index assets. Uh, and it's going to take a few moments to do that and boom it's done so now if I go to my assets it says 26 and I've got two drop downs characters and monsters and it's brought in my monsters okay I've also got packs where I can go to my characters packs and I can go to my monsters pack so monsters is now new now I've just spotted something that I wasn't expecting to happen because it never goes smoothly does it why have so if I bring back over my other folder this one here if I go into characters I've added these other characters into here but it hasn't included those so I've done something slightly squiffy what have I what have I not done is it because I didn't ask it to index? Uh, is what's this? Use existing index. Click to force re-indexing. So I've done that, and I'm wondering if that will actually update this now. My assets 38. There we go. Right. So when I added a new source on and said oh index it please it indexed the new source but it didn't automatically index the previous one that existed so just go back to that so this cog bottom left hand corner to bring up this configure sources and then in here you can see I can make these things visible or not I can edit the name of them if I want to the rename the creator pack for this source and it was this one here always re-index so what that means is is every time I click index assets it will relook at that folder and will go oh has anything changed do I need to take anything out do I need to add anything in um, it's nice isn't it so now I've got these here uh, oh, go back to my assets if I go back to my characters now bearing in mind I'm using this not for my actors for my player characters but I might want to use this for NPCs I, well, there we go I can just drag that tile straight out there we've got it all of these images yeah they're coming out giant but that's fine because that's not what they're for um, it's just bringing them out as their default size now if I went through and very sensibly resize those all to the you know whatever I'm using 200 pixels by 200 pixels to make them nice and square that's what size they would come out relative to my maps of course but I'm not going to use it for that because that's what that's what my actual actors are for these are only the images. These are only tiles with the images on. All right. But I can just drag these out whenever I need them. So it's a really quick way to find stuff. Now I could, of course, put an extra folder in here and create another layer. I've made this really small now. Hang on. So if I go back to all packs, um, I could, in my monsters, put another folder in and then drill down into only undead. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Let's let's show that that is actually a thing, shall we? Because there's nothing better than getting part way through a video and then going, "Let's do something I haven't checked, haven't tested." 
All right, so if I create a folder called Undead and I can drag my zombie in there, I can chuck Agatha in there, I've got a ghoul I can chuck in there, um, Flaming Skull, you count as Undead, that will do for now. So I've rearranged this folder. So here, my monsters is the same because I haven't re-indexed it. This is not going to update until I can go back in, configure my sources. I've got yes, re-index, index assets, wait a moment it clears the screen I can go back to my assets and I've now got monsters slash undead um, and they're not now in monsters so now I've got this separate folder now interestingly I wasn't expecting it to do it's given me a monsters folder with those in hmm now I've just done that on the fly I've not really played with it doing that before and re-nesting stuff so I obviously uh, haven't got that perfect um, but what I do know is I can go to my assets, I can look at my monsters pack, and in there I can see my monsters, and I've got a subcategory of undead if I want it. Uh, so you can do that with all of your tiles and tokens and whatever it is you like. It's all about, importantly, about how you set up, come back to it again, how you set up this structure here is what's really important. So I'm only doing images at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if I put any tiles. Oh look, Bailey Wiki ones that I've accessed. Okay, they're all in there as well. Um, but under Custom, which is mine, Curse of Strahd. Oh, I did bring some in for Curse of Strahd. So um, I don't think I indexed those yet. No, I didn't index and bring those in yet. So um, how useful is this? Well, it's one of those things of it becomes exponentially more useful the more assets you've got the more images you've got the more tiles and things and if you are wanting to create scenes on the fly you're going to want real quick access it's like oh blimey they've gone to an inn um you know i'm going to need i need uh i don't know i need a table i should be able to just search and go right here we go i've got tables now this is just from all creators uh, but Forgotten Adventures Furniture Pack is probably a great place to start. And here's all my tables. Brilliant. Yep, have a table. Done. It's that quick for me deciding. It's actually a bit quicker to come in here and search for something you don't even know what you're searching for than it is to go through your menus over here or try and upload one that you've got on your desktop or something like that. It's really, really quick and easy to do. So, again really does depend how you want to build your adventures and if you have packs that you particularly like you tend to reuse the same type of furniture um, or even if you want to include like you know tiles that are you know for a, a ready-made inn or anything like that you can have them ready to go uh, which will be brilliant let me uh, just configure my sources my indexing I'm going to add a new one here I'm going to come out of there uh, I'm going to go into scene tiles and hopefully index my scene tiles. See if I've got this right back into my assets. Um, I didn't do it right, did I? Am I even in the correct place? Oh, I didn't add source. Plank. Scene tiles directory add source. There we go. Now I've actually added it on. I mean, you know, <laughs> genius, huh? <laughs> Brilliant. Now I should be able to go to my assets and I have got a I haven't got a pack there. Um, but I am under tiles and tokens. See this is what you get for being cocky and doing things on the fly without checking them properly. And again, it will be me and not Moulinette that has got something wrong here. Do I need to configure that? So I've just checked that that was the right folder. Moulinet Tiles Custom COS. No, I'm not in the right folder, am I? What an idiot. So pick, pick the correct folder would be good. Um, so Moulinet Tiles Custom Curse of Strahd. That's the folder that I wanted. Nincompoop. And then index those assets. My assets now has now jumped to 44. I can go to my COS, my Curse of Strahd, and there are my tiles. Now these are these are the tiles. 
about the size um, but these are the tiles that we've used for curse of strad so i've got those all in there um, and as you can see this is the this is what it is just by clicking on it i can bring this up see the image size whatever i need to know from here etc uh, and look, well, look i can use it to create a scene didn't know i could do that i've just done that is that this one down here i think Not sure. Oh, Moulinet. Ah, look at that. Yeah, so it's created a folder for scenes from my assets from COS and then it slapped it in as a scene. How interesting. Didn't realize you could do that either. Uh, that might not be the best way to create your scenes, but it was bloody fast, wasn't it? <laughs> I just clicked on the image and went, yeah, create scene. See what happens. And there it is. So, um, yeah. And again, remember that if we just go back to um, back to the manage modules here, I've only got the tiles one, which is what we've just looked at, and the game icons, which is going to have all of those images and stuff that I've got those kind of character portraits in. Um, but there are those other options that you can have on here as well. So again, just bring that back for you. Whip all over the place. Um, so actually, for whole scenes, for icons, which I've got um, an image search. Uh, tiles which I've got but also things like the sound and soundboards um, so if you've got music and things like that you can just search for uh, and I think I probably will have the play with the sounds one because getting access to sounds that we can use and especially background music um, is a bit of a challenge I've got a bit of a plan for working on background music because obviously doing videos I have to be particularly careful about um, what music I play on YouTube um, <clears throat> and the absolute safest way is to only use completely original music that you have the rights to <laughs> I'm not a musician <laughs> so uh, yeah it can be a bit challenging which is why we don't have much music in my videos except YouTube stuff that they actually provide for me all right um, so yeah hope that's useful uh, let me know if you're going to use it comments you know where they are um do you use it already uh what is your what's the biggest time saver that Moulinet is able to do for you what do you use it for the most um if you're not using it will you i don't know will i use it i probably should i need to get my stuff organized better and Moulinet basically wants me you know forces me to be more organized and it saves time it saves time so that we can spend that time on creativity and actually playing the game, which is good. Um, leave a like. Uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And of course, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you hit the bell icon, you'll be reminded of every time the video comes out. If you don't want to be spammed, don't click the bell icon. But uh, please do, um, do subscribe anyway. That will really help out the channel. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next one.